Okay, welcome to another shop talk. Uh, just going to do a quick one today. I had to do a belt change, main belt. There's three of them on this uh, bad boy here. I thought I'd just show you guys how simple it is and quick in case any of you have a problem. You can just buy the belts from Felder Direct. Uh, really easy to fit. I'll just walk you through it now. So, so remove the side panel, remove the old belts. They look really haggard, the old ones. I think they would come loose and twisted as well. These have got a nice deep V. Um, remove the two screws here. You don't want to change any alignments on this main part here. Um, so I remove the two Allen bolts there and then drop that down onto some wood. Stop this moving. It is quite heavy, but it's not uncontrollable. Uh, then I untensioned the motor. You'll see when I do it up that you can see where the threads were tensioned before. Um, and I put a wedge in to lift up the motor so I can slip the three belts on. One, two, three belts. And they go onto these three pulleys here. One, two, three. These outer ones don't seem to be used. Um, and then uh, lift that up and then retension that. Should be pretty simple. I'll try and video it best I can. These belts are only about 11 pounds plus VAT each, so it's not expensive, but the problem is the shipping um, I needed it urgent and the shipping's like 25, so I bought six, so that'll give me two lots. So as far as I can tell, that's pretty much in line. I'm gonna to switch the machine on, I'm gonna lift the rise and fall to try and line those up. You should get a bite on the screws, it's pretty heavy that block, but you should get a bite. These have got a locking washer and they were extremely tight. So I've tightened that, that's really tight. I've got a wedge in there, which I'm gonna carefully take out. When I do, well, it's out now. That's just under its own weight. Just check that. Just get this out. Check they're in line. Now what I found on my one is you can see the marks where the factory on the thread, I'll try and show you in a minute when I zoom in, where the thing was set originally. It's a 24 mil spanner. You don't want to overdo it, but you don't want to underdo it because what you don't want is these spinning in the V groove, which is what happened to mine, and then they shred. They spin and you don't know. Unfortunately, my machine is against the wall, so I can't actually see it. I can easily take the side off and check. Right, it's nearly there. stop nut underneath um, so we're back to that lock locking nut so it's back to the factory setting and then just lock that down that's it 